Hello everybody, Texas Man here. I hope that you guys are all having a spectacular day. If you guys would, please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also, do me the biggest favor of all, hit the bell notification button. That way you guys do not miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. You guys can also find me on Discord, 6957, the Texas Man. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock the Air Elastic. I think I butchered that. But it is what it is. Uh, this is an exotic linear fusion rifle, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to acquire it within Destiny 2. Now, the interesting thing about this weapon is that it has been out for a while already, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to acquire it if you guys don't have it. So, if you guys don't have this weapon pre Destiny 2 Lightfall, this is how you guys can acquire it post Destiny 2 Lightfall. So I didn't have it, and I saw a bunch of people running around with this thing, and I figured, you know what, let's get it, and I'll make a video for you guys. So here we go. So the first thing you're going to want to do to acquire this weapon is you're going to need to come to the Cosmodrome, and you're going to need to come over here and talk to our famous Fast and the Furious character, Shah Han, here. You're going to approach him, and right down here underneath his bounties, he will have a quest, and you're going to collect it. It's called Another Last City. The quest is going to force you to have to complete several steps, and they're not too difficult. So, after that, you're going to need to kill 100 enemies. It doesn't matter where you kill them. It can be anywhere in the system, and it doesn't matter what type of enemies. After you've done that, step 4 of the quest is going to make it where you're going to need to kill 50 enemies with abilities or supers. And... For step three and four, both, you can either do like public events and you can do crucible. I found those to be the easiest way to grind out these steps because it just makes it a lot easier. And while you're doing public events or you're doing uh, crucible, you can be completing other bounties and gaining XP in that capacity. After you've killed the 50 enemies with abilities or supers, you're going to head over to the tower and then you're going to want to come here and speak with... Our awesome vendor, Banshee44, right here in the tower. And he will give you the next step, which is going to require you to head all the way over to Neptune. And you're going to need to complete three public events. Now, they do need to be public events. They can't be um, the Terminal Overload public event. Um, and they cannot be uh, anything else of that nature. After you've done that, you're going to need to defeat targets with fusion rifles or linear fusion rifles. So what that is, I did is I just had the Royal Executioner fusion rifle from Season 20 equipped. And then I had the Tampon uh, 4 FR linear fusion rifle equipped. And I just went around and uh, did some public events and some Crucible as well uh, and got those kills completed. So... You, can, you just need to kill targets with fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles. It doesn't matter where you do it uh, or what capacity. Just make sure you're killing enemies. So keep that in mind. And then the last step is that you're going to need to head right back here to the tower. Talk to Banshee44 again and you will get the weapon. So I'm going to show you guys the weapon itself here in more details. So the weapon perks, you get extended barrel. Uh, projection Fuse, which increases the range. Disruption Break, breaking an enemy's shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. You have Composite Stock, which increases stability and handling speed. And then you have your two kill trackers. Your weapon mods allow you to infuse it. And then there is a Catalyst. Uh, once you do have the Catalyst equipped, breaking a combatant shield with this weapon fills its magazines from reserve. Energy Weapon, regenerate ammo on hits when matching the damage type to the combatant's shield. And it also will increase the handling and bump up the magazine capacity from 5 to 6. Another thing that is really interesting is its intrinsic trait, which fires slugs that cause massive damage to combatant's shield. And this weapon is great against anti-barrier champions. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please let me know in the comment section down below. Have a great day. I look forward to more videos and streams coming out soon. Bye, guys.